you know how hard it is to find a real antique mirror. And then finding the antique mirror in the right size, impossible. So we'll show you how we just turn these new mirrors into antique mirrors with some paint stripper. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're making some mirror magic for mere mortals. <laughs> yes, we're doing a little product testing for the farmer's market. Uh, last year, we did great selling outdoor items. All outside. Yes. All we the did. time. We had the front porch welcome signs, door rounds, even the front porch posts. Oh yeah. Um, so all of that was outdoor items. I want to expand it this year. By the way, I hadn't told you in my envisioning i'm envisioning like a u-shaped i want three tables and i want to start adding some indoor home decor items on those tables this is all news to me yeah. like right now i'm doing <laughs> i've been doing some planning so um one of the things that i was looking at here recently this week uh i saw this really cool antique mirror and i'm a little nervous about bringing a mirror to the farmer's market but wait bad till you luck. see what it's going to look like now. Seven years bad luck <laughs> times four. That's 28 years bad luck. <laughs> no, wait till you see what it looks like when it's done. Because um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to antique these mirrors. We tried an antique mirror project uh, two years ago, maybe. Two years, a year ago. I don't know. It's over here. And we it's a little bit different from what we're doing today. It was glass that we made into an antique mirror. What we're going to do this time is we're going to take a mirror and New we're going to antique mirror. Yeah. And make it old. Yes, and make it old, antique it, yes. And then uh, we're going to add some overlays. Uh, uh, I saw these really cool antique like mirrors. Spanish tile looking things. Yes, but they were $227 for a set of two, oh, yeah. which is crazy. I was like, we could totally make that. Yeah, even I was like, we should totally yeah, we just should. make that ourselves. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to try and do today. I'm going to make a set of four of them and, um, you know, fingers crossed. I hope it looks cool. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it'll totally look cool. <laughs> we'll tweak it till it does. Yeah. Yeah. We can see. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. Uh, we really just needed some mirrors <laughs> and some things to antique it. Well, I'll go into a little more detail. Yeah, I don't know what it takes. <laughs> So we purchased this set of six mirrors. We got this one at Lowe's, but it was like ten dollars for yeah, six like mirrors. So for six. that's that's a pretty good deal. And um, I did a little research online. Everyone suggested we use the citrus strip. Citrus strip. <laughs> say that five times fast. Yeah, that's hard to say. Uh, and then of course we're gonna need some gloves, a paintbrush to apply it. And then once you strip off the backing of the mirror, uh, it's going to leave, you'll be able to see just clean glass, clear glass through it. So you're gonna have to reapply a back. Um, but you're, the reapplying the back is what gives it that antique look. So we're gonna do a combination of this metallic copper and black spray paint. That's what we're gonna apply on the back of it. Uh, and we're gonna need a, a spray bottle because once you take the stripper off, you've got to clean all the stripper off, and we're going to do that with bleach and water. Nobody likes a dirty stripper. Oh, Garrett. What? This, this, all right. Stuff. We also need some supplies for a frame and the overlays. So for the frame, I'm just going to use some quarter inch MDF. And for the overlays, I'm going to use some eighth inch birch plywood. All right, let's get That's this project started. Step two, uh, I'm just chucking it. Now we strip in front of the mirror, or the back of the mirror. Now we strip the back of the mirror. <laughs> all right, or he says something else crazy. He's really on roll tonight with the stripper. Do it like you do it in the mirror. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna put four of these out here. Do it without breaking it. Woo, look at you go. Yay! Last one. Alright. Now what do we do? So the instructions for this, this is um, a little bit thick, so we're gonna apply we're going to apply it with a paintbrush. 
Um, it does say to use chemical risk resistant gloves. So I'm going to give Garrett these non-chemical resistant gloves and have him do it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. If it melts to my fingers, it's cool. It's cool. Try not, to, like, try not to touch it. The babe. antique. So do we need like uh, respirators? Well, does it say it on there? That I it does respirator? not say that you need respirators. Oh, yeah. What it does say is that it needs to be used in a um, well. If you're going to use it indoors, so it does say that you can. But it needs to be used in a very well ventilated space with um, air blowing. Look, at, I'm trying to. Oh, I got the windows open. All right, windows are open. After we apply this, we're going to leave the room and let it sit for 45 minutes. Um, it says you can. Leave it on for 30 minutes to 24 hours. Um, we're gonna try 45 minutes. I'll let you know if that changes. I got a fan. All right, well ventilated. Cross ventilation. Cross we're breeze. It. We are on it. All right. Cool breeze. Paint and varnish stripping gel. Go for it. Right away, dump it on and then do it? Yeah, just pour it right on there. Don't mm. don't get crazy. Does it say how thick? Very cool, pretty good. Um, relatively thick. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I think. Oh, that seems like a lot. I was just progressively getting more. Deepity glam. our stripping gel and now we're going to kind of step out of here all three windows open over here and we're gonna add a cross breeze and let it set for like I said we're gonna start with 45 minutes and see how that goes right. we'll be back in 45 step three no, Whoa. I wasn't going to throw it. Yeah, that missed? scared me. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to strip off the paint stripper. Stripping off the paint stripper. I'm just going to scrape it, right? Let's see how it goes, yeah. Right tools for the much? job. Nope. Now, and like, like what you're doing there in the pieces, take it all the way down to the glass. I think that's what the bleach is for. Yep, that's what I think too. So go ahead and get the gray off like this, and we use the bleach to dab it. Get the gray all the way off? Yeah. Step four, and now we're gonna bleach them. We have uh, three parts water, one part bleach. And we're just gonna spray it on, spritz it on, and wipe it over it. Yeah, but I only want it drips. I don't don't spray the whole thing because I just want kind of. So I don't really know. I haven't used a spray bottle. Is it open? Off means it's not open. Yeah, like that. Okay. 
All right, do it some more. Mm. Let's see what the front looks like. No change. Yeah, well, no change in the back, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to tell you. So here's the thing. You have to get past the orange to get to the to get to the actual mirror. The bleach takes that off and you want to let it sit. But the problem is we have scratched it down to the Yeah, how do I yeah. So yeah, give me something like this. Step five. Now we're going to take them outside and repaint the backs. We're going to go with copper and black, kind of alternating in like a spot pattern. We're going to make like a leopard print maybe. <laughs> Don't bet that. But you can just use black to have it that aged look or you can do the combination. I think we're going to try the combination. We're going to do combo. Combo. Combo in it. So what we've learned so far with taking off the paint on the back, yeah. you have to get past the silver layer and past the copper layer. Brown copper layer. Yeah. Uh, we used the scraper which worked great but left scratch marks in it so I think I might use a um, like the little small paint scraper maybe that's not a razor blade Yeah. and see if we can push it off like that. Push. Maybe we should have left it a little longer so it get a little more gooey. Yeah I mean I think I may have left it I would leave it for like two hours. Yeah this was an hour and it wasn't as uh, easy to get off as I thought it would. Yeah. Like we actually had to use a razor blade scraper. Yeah, and but the bleach does a great job yeah. of eating through the copper layer. So um, I, I would get as much of that off as you can, but if you can't get it all off, don't worry. The bleach will eat through it some. Yeah. And it looks like you're going to want to let that bleach sit for... Like 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah, I was going to say 10 or 15. So Yeah, and then yeah. wipe it off. You just kind of want to... Spritz and big glops, let it splish splash, sit for five to ten minutes, 15, <laughs> and then dab it, wipe it off. Yep, and so you want to keep checking the front. What you're looking for is to see if you can see um, that it's clear glass through it. So you're looking for the clear glass, that's what you're going to end up painting over with the black, giving it that aged look. So, you know, take it one step at a time. Keep adding more, you can't put it back. So <laughs> do it one step well, at a time. We will be putting it back. Yeah, but you're gonna have these spots in it. So, all right, all right. I'll meet you guys outside. Step six, and now we make a frame for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got our mirrors and I want to mount them. Like I said, I have a vision and I need to make a frame or you can purchase a frame. If you could find a 12 by 12 frame, you could distress it, paint it. But we're going to make one um, using the Glowforge. We're going to use some MDF and a backer and we're going to layer a little tiny frame. You'll see. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show it's you. It's a backer, a of frame, a an overlay, and then a frame. Kind of encapsulate 
the uh, the mirror. Yeah, we're just gonna tuck it in there, nice and tight. Yeah. Don't actually want to glue the mirror. Gonna glue all yeah, the frame around. Yeah, that was our lesson learned from the last mirror yeah. project. We had liquid nails to the back of it and it ate through and mm -hmm. kind of messed them up at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So our first step to making our overlay, we're gonna use this eighth inch birch plywood. So for this. Yep. <laughs> and we're gonna distress it. We're gonna add a little distressing so that. When we paint it, we're going to use the same paint technique that we used last week in our spring video. We're going to stain this board. After we distress it, we're going to stain it with this dark walnut stain. And then we're going to use this uh, drywall taping knife to put the paint on. We're going to use our country chic vanilla, vanilla frosting. frosting. We're going to give the, the walnut some frosting. Yep, we're going to put a couple of blobs on there and then just wipe it off. Get your de-stress, yeah. distressing technique, my tools. My distressing chain. All right. All right. All right. So to distress this wood, this is, this isn't as easy to distress. Like, did it even make a mark? Yeah. Barely. Oh, I see a little bit right here. Yeah. As if you were using a piece of pine, but still the same thing. I'm trying to get like a little bit of a textured finish on top so something the paint to, yeah something yeah. for that paint to settle in when we scrape across give it some character so we're just gonna put some divots in it give it a backstory <laughs> gonna use the screwdriver to put some marks in it just just hammer it right on there you can scratch it scrape it oh I like to I see you do this one Make it look like there's some yeah. holes like a hitting it with the back of the hammer yeah make the it little look corner like there's little holes yep. yes it's like a whatever those little pinworm holes yeah like pinworms that's what i was looking for i was like what makes that hole i don't know anyway we're just going to distress this board before we do our add our stain <laughs> all right then we're just going to use a scraper with the vanilla frosting scrape across try to leave a little bit of paint yes and the more you smooth that finish out the cooler the texture looks now we're going to start cutting out our pieces in the glow forge we're going to start with the overlay then we're going to cut our quarter inch and we're going to cut our eighth inch Step seven. Oh. Now we're gonna paint the backer and the frame. We're gonna paint it black. This is the backer. These are all my frame pieces. There's two frames. I got a sub frame, a small frame. It's gonna go around the mirror. Now I got the big frame. It's gonna go on the overlay. Oh, you haven't seen the overlay yet. <laughs> this is what it looks like when it's all cut out. Kind of cool, kind of distressed. Yeah, huh? Yes, I really like that dif distressed finish. It looks nice. And it's got a little crackle to it. A little crackle? That comes from keeping the paint a little bit thick and then hitting it with the heat gun, letting it crackle. I like that look. But I think, like I said before, we talked about maybe bringing this to the farmer's market. So we want to keep it simple. I want it to look good, but I don't want it to be a ton of labor involved. Yeah, it's got to be if easy. If I'm going to make it and then bring it every week. Easily repeatable. Yes, easily repeatable good call. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go spray it. I don't need the overlay. Step eight. Now we're gonna glue it all together. Assemble it. Time to assemble. We're gonna use this clear Gorilla Glue. It says indoor, outdoor use. Should be able to toss it around like I see on the commercials. Oh, we need the mirror. Do it like you do it in the mirror. All right, we're gonna glue the pieces and then fit the frame around it. Right, so it's the solid quarter inch backer and these little mini eighth inch frame that's gonna go around it. And then 
Are you gonna put it, how are you gonna? Yeah, let's lump them together. And I'll glue it and then we'll move them into place. Okay, sounds good. Ooh, good turn. Good turn to the corner. Oh, got it. <laughs> Don't freak me out. Just going down the last corner, down the main stretch. Come back in and make sure it's gloppy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Now look. I say go back in and make sure it's gloppy. Man, don't get that stuff on your fingers. That's grill glue. Don't you watch the news? <laughs> Do you guys watch the news? That was a good one, babe. <laughs> guys think? I Not love them. Bad. I think they look great. Yeah, they turned out pretty good. The frame looks nice and the overlay is beautiful. I love this distressed look and finish we've got going here. Yeah, pretty cool. But distress in the mirror, I don't know man. That was a, a little more work than I think we'll be able to recreate every week if they're a good seller. Yeah, I think our lesson learned on the mirror, um, you saw that we used the scraper um, after one hour, um, but it left scrape marks in it, like actual scratch marks in it. So we ended up doing a couple of more uh, just to try a different technique. We left the stripper on for two hours, and would you say that was better? I mean, yeah. that helped. It came off a little easier. It was a little more mushy. I was able to get it off with a plastic scraper. And that's where I was going, yes. So you want to let it set long enough that that plastic scraper without the, you know, the blade actually yeah. scratching it, leaving lines in it, the plastic scraper helped take it off. And that yeah. one looked a little nicer. Took it off a little better, didn't scratch, didn't leave those long scrape marks. And the bleach, you want to leave that bleach on for like 20 minutes to really let yeah. it eat through. Like 15, 20 minutes, yep. That was a good time. Yeah. That worked. And then, tone it down on the copper already. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. It's just not exactly the look I was thinking of. I thought it would actually be more copper and black. Yeah. But once I you just too. one swipe of the copper and it was like, covered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised how much it covered. I tried not to cover that much. I was trying to make like a leopard print in the middle of one and you can't tell. You can't <laughs> tell. It's all copper. <laughs> all right, it's that time. We gotta go. So if you're not joining us for the patron after show, we will see you and next week where we'll do a building to make it again. And uh, I think I should balance one of these. No, come on, man. I no. Think I think it'll be fine. It'll work out. We'll do it this way. What's the TikTok thing? No one will know. No one will know. They'll know. No, no one will know. Oh. Gotta keep my hand close, though. Ha. <laughs> <laughs>